The winter season has finally passed and spring is upon us. As the warming sunlight melts the snow and ice of the mountain, the members of Shellthorpe struggle to process the massive amounts of meat that they gathered during the winter months. Gathered might be a bit of a strong word, come to think of it. After all, the only thing that they had to do was reset traps over and over and over as the wildlife threw itself upon the gauntlet. The smoking huts will surely be working overtime so that the meats don't rot, but if all goes well, the gang should keep fed into the next year. Hello, and welcome back to Going Medieval. You might be able to notice that my little slime is no longer with us. I'm not exactly sure what's going on uh, with OBS at this current time, but it seems to be giving me some really, really weird effects. Uh, for instance, it's currently telling me that I have been recording for a full three seconds. <laughs> and whenever I tried to use the slime, it just wouldn't record it. So we're going to go without it today. And, uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna go as if as if everything is absolutely fine here we go we're following snelling around right now he's been uh planting some trees now he's cutting down a tree everything's going well we are the first of spring and it is zero no minus one degree centigrade outside it is just under freezing so we're going to wait until the sun starts to rise a little bit and uh, we actually hit over zero degrees centigrade. And then we're gonna start plotting out uh, planting of the different red currants and other, other uh, vegetables and stuff that we have planned out. Also, uh, I think looking at how few of these are currently being used, I think we're going to go over here. We're gonna go over to cooking. I'm hoping this qualifies as a cooking task, mind you. We are going to go ahead and we're just going to set everything to a two priority for cooking. We have 1,163 raw meat currently, and uh, we definitely want to get get through that. Um, preparing food. Yeah, it is considered preparing food, apparently. So it must be cooking. What else do we have going on? We have 26 chronicles, which means that today we might actually be able to get cartography or something else. We'll have to see about that. We're going to go ahead and start speeding time along here. Other than that, I'm not expecting to fight off wildlife once again, um, because it is spring now. I'm hoping that we're going to start having, you know, vegetation growing once once more. It, it is currently 3 a.m., so it's quite cold outside still uh, at this point. But it, once ah, the sun is starting to rise now at 4 a.m., uh, once the sun is up properly, uh, it, it, it will start melting, I believe, anyway. Here we go. We have Violet moving stuff around. Max also seems to be trying to help out here, calling to stockpile. Let me just bring that over into stockpile. Now, uh, during, during, <laughs> during editing, I realized I did this wrong. I don't actually want anything from 0 to 50 in there because that gets broken down. I want anything from 50 to 100 in here. The exact opposite. We're going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to remove it outright from the stockpiles downstairs. There we go. So these stockpiles, right here. Uh, apparel, no longer there. Just don't don't put it down there. We want it over there. Uh, so it's going to be closer to our people. And more importantly, so it's not going to be taking up space in our fridge. So we have new season. Spring. Spring arrived in Shellthorpe. As the sun warmed the sleeping ground, vegetation began to grow. It was the perfect time to sow crops for the coming year, and that is definitely what we're going to do today. So spring, moderate temperatures, rain and fog are frequent, small chances of hail, small storm. So there is a chance that there's going to be hailstorms, which will mess up our crops. Uh, but uh, I think we'll be okay. It is already six degrees centigrade outside, so it is way above freezing. I say way above freezing. It is well above freezing. The snow will melt is essentially what that means. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start setting these to sow. That is also something we want to do as quickly as possible today. Gonna make sure everything is getting sown. I'm fairly certain that I don't actually have everything that we require to... I think we don't have a single cabbage left. I think we used them all up. But uh, anything we do have, they'll be able to put 
won't be able to put them there. And ooh, look at this. The first grass of the year. Fantastic. We also have this shrub that's apparently green. Okay. This is a this is just a shrub. Shrub. Here we go. Uh, other than that, we are hoping that they're gonna be smoking just constantly. It doesn't look like they're prioritizing that, which is throwing me off, I'm not gonna lie. Um but clothing is being moved here, which is good to see. Will was moving clothing. I'm sorry. Over here, Will. Hauling is three. Cooking is two. Are we missing something? We're waiting for resources. We should have the resources. Sticks and wood, we have wood over here. Raw meat. Not sure what's happening. Hmm. I'm not sure why they're not prioritizing this over some of the other hauling that they're doing right now. It's a bit strange. It's a bit strange. And as we scroll back here for just a moment, you can see the snow is melting and we are seeing more and more grass appearing. It is 10 a.m. So by the end of the day, I think all the snow will be gone. It might seem completely unrealistic for the snow to melt this fast. Depending on how much snow you have though, it can actually melt pretty fast. Like today, as I'm recording this, um, it, it is it has just gone above freezing and it's been raining. And uh, as, as uh, only a few hours have passed, I can already see just the grass poking out between the lumps of snow. And, and we had quite a bit of snow on the ground already so it's not spring here <laughs> it's just randomly warm but uh, that is that is what's happening and uh, this should this video should be coming out just before Christmas to give you an idea of when this was recorded yeah it, it is just randomly warm and uh, yeah I am very very confused what is what are they waiting on I don't understand. Maybe we will make cooking a number one priority for now. Just, I want, I want this used up, guys. I don't want you to do anything else until that food is being worked on. Maybe it isn't a, a cooking thing? Let me see. Prioritize production. Deliver smoked meat. Hmm. Hmm, filling food pouch. Allison is here too. Would it, it has to be a cook, right, cooking, right? It can't be a craft. I'm gonna make crafting a number one priority for everyone as well. I don't think that's the case though. I don't think this is what's happening. I'm fairly certain this is cooking. It just doesn't make any sense for it to be anything else. Reynard is uh, gaining skill in tailoring. That's good. He'll be breaking down the things downstairs that we have that uh, are getting a little worn down. So that's uh, certainly a good thing. And once again, we only have Sybil here. And a group of deer. I'm sorry. Whoa. Yeah, look at this group of deer. There should be other sources of food now. <laughs> so we shouldn't have to deal with endless waves of deers. I mean, they are coming to put things into smokehouses, but it's nowhere near fast enough. Something doesn't seem right. Urgent hall, interesting. Convalescence, I think this is new. I don't remember seeing that. Might be a mall. Maybe I'm completely wrong. We have hunting, we have construction, we have growing, we have harvesting, animal husbandry, mining, cut plants, cook and crafting, smithing, carpentry, tailoring, research, Artist, steward, and hall. I don't see this be anything. Maybe stewardship, but even then, that seems wrong. That can't possibly be. That can't possibly be stewardship. Okay, I have a new plan. I'm going to slow things down here for a moment. So I can see Allison is currently preparing food, apparently. Uh, Bebo, I want you to come over here and uh, prioritize production. Oh, Sybil's doing that. Oh, 
That's our problem. There is a skill level requirement and they don't fit it. Okay. Okay, so let's bring this back up. That's why it's going so slowly. Okay, okay. So anything, we're gonna do that like this. Actually, you know what? For the time being, if you can, uh, do it. We're gonna leave it like that. So there is a skill level thing. Not everybody's gonna be able to do this, but um, anyone that can will be doing it. So that's that's what we're gonna have to work with. I think there's like three, maybe four of them that currently can actually work these smoke houses. So um, we're just going to let that happen for now. We're just gonna let that happen. Settlers are suffering from the cold. That's not ideal. Ah, and you see, our our little area full of clothing has been filled in. Um, do we have? There's a shelf. Meat, raw textile, medicine seeds. Okay, you can't have clothing in there. I'm just gonna have a quick look here. I'm not I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing anything that would make me think that I could put this in a better storage. So I think it's something that we can research down the line, but we don't have access to at this time. Let's speed things along again. It is already evening. Look at that. Time is just zooming by here. Okay. And oh, look at this. Most of this has been filled in. So last year, around this time, we were starting to farm <laughs> these red currants. And it took, it took, it took a while. <laughs> it took essentially until autumn, until the entire thing was full. And it looks like this year, most of it will be full just in spring. So we're going to have a lot of red currants this year. I'm looking forward to that. And look at this. Now everything is yellow. So everything is moving along towards product production. I'm very happy about that. We're going to have hopefully more smoked meat coming in. Uh, we have more raw meat than we had at the start. I'm assuming something got butchered. <laughs> I'm not sure there. I'm a little confused on that one. What else is happening? Max the second is uh, just sleeping here. He's having a little, a little nap. We have iron laying around here okay we have uh shrines here all right everybody is kind of wandering around it is 11 o'clock at night so they must be getting ready you know to go to bed that's all right just let them do that and uh yeah let's, let's just take a moment maybe follow snelling around for a while while we're auto saving here we go what are you doing snelling just running over here. He's crafting a metal item. Ooh, smelling. I'm happy to see that. What was your smithing level? Nine. Okay. I'm not going to stop you from doing that. Keep it up, buddy. And it looks like he's trying to put wood in a fireplace or in a, a stone brazier, as I, as I like to call them. Here we go. We have Will, oops, ooh, we have Will over here. He's currently doing some tailoring, it would seem. This is his leisure time, so I guess Will really likes to do some tailoring. Oh, he is level 20 tailoring, actually, that's quite nice. That's quite nice. All right, I'm just gonna leave him to that then. Oh, Snelling is one of those that is able to work these smoke huts, so I'm quite happy. Here we go. We haven't made any more of those books. That's absolutely fantastic. Fine is the word I was going to say. I don't know why I said fantastic. It, it, it's 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 not fantastic. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, we need them to focus on the meat. And the meat, it's moving. Did I set it? Let me double check. Did I set it to not take smoked meat? Yeah, we're not going to use... We're not cooking the smoked meat right away. Just smoke the meat, cook other meat. We have loads of raw meat we could be cooking. <laughs> so if they do that, they can do that. Um, we certainly could make more of these smoke houses. 
There's no detriment to doing it. Downside, here we go. And we'll make one over here. One over here. There we go. Hello, Andes? Did you run out of food? You did not. Andes? Please don't eat my crops. Violet? What happens when they eat it, actually? 16%. What happens? It loses hit points. It doesn't seem to be... Hmm. It doesn't seem to be, like, dying. Maybe it's going to rego regain its hit points. Maybe maybe that's how it works. But I'm, I'm a little annoyed that they didn't actually just go get their food out of the food trough. Um, oh, well. Here we go. It is 6 a.m., so people are about to wake up very soon. Follow Will around a bit. What are you up to? You're preparing food, I'm sorry. In there? I don't think this is correct. Yeah, that's... That doesn't look like preparing food. <laughs> Will... Um, hmm. well, what, wh whatever floats your boat, <laughs> I guess. Maybe, maybe Will likes to eat a little birdish in the morning. And really, who am I to judge, right? <laughs> who am I to judge? <laughs> you know, sometimes you just, you need to eat, you need to eat a birdish. And ooh, look at this. Our smoked meat, now that we're no longer cooking it, <laughs> our smoked meat has gone up quite a bit. Now, eventually, we are going to make smoked meat uh, be something that you can turn into roasted meat. Uh, but, yeah, I really want us to get through this raw meat uh, as much as possible so that it doesn't go bad on us quite as quickly. You know what we could do, actually, now that I think about it? We can go over here. I'm going to queue up some more building, because what else are you going to do, right? We're going to queue up five more shelves. I think we have the wood for it. There's quite a bit of wood on the ground, so I think we're going to be just just fine. Let's see what else. Oh, there was a Bebo had a, a little chat with Ernesh. Talked about the religions, I guess. Allison's Burrow's uh, construction skill has gone up to 34. I don't, I don't know if you ever unlock new things after a while. I think, I think it just caps. Do this forever. Do not use coal. Here we go. And we're not at full, full capacity yet. Um. But that'll that'll come along. I can leave that up to be cut down. Might as well, right? Aranash has gained culinary skill. Fantastic. Good to see it, Aranash. Oh, Reynard is snelling or having a nice little chat. Pleasant conversation. Fantastic. We'll go ahead and set some of these things for chopping. There we go. And we're having another, another nice quiet day so far. Hot the deer group has left. Oh. I was really worried when we were having those issues with all the animals triggering traps that, uh, you know, they would have all my tra traps triggered and we'd, we'd get attacked and uh, die horribly. But uh, it looks like um, we're just having the most relaxing time ever. So, you can't, uh, stay mad at that, right? Here you go. And quite a bit of these smoke houses are actually smoking meat right now. So that's good to see. It looks like Sybil is cooking up some supper for people. Also quite nice. There we go. I think one of these two should go up soon as they put their food down in the shelves or not. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. 
Who knows? <laughs> All right. Well, let's see. Oh, Bebo is constructing some of the shelves down here. And they are complete. Fantastic. Let's see. This is going to be good for another 29 days. Ooh, 29 days. And smoked meat hit points 100. These will be good for over a year. Oh, wow. Okay, so it looks like in the relative cooldown here, uh, things are actually staying good for quite a while. But just the fact of smoking them, look at that, one year, means that we're going to keep that, that meat good for a while to come. Fantastic. And I keep clicking on this. <laughs> I'm convinced someone is actually like researching instead of doing the smoke meat, but no, no, that's not what's happening. Uh, clearly, what is happening is uh, we just don't have we just don't have the required skill for cooking on everybody to be able to do smoking and uh, there's only maybe four of them currently doing it they're still managing to fill up most of these smoke houses so that's good to see let's scroll up here for a moment what what happened here oh we have a new wolf carcass of course we have of wolf carcass. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know what happened there. Nothing seems to be triggered. So maybe, maybe I just forgot about it at some point. <laughs> Fantastic. Alrighty. Let's scroll on out here and just take a look at this. Look at this. We've built so much. Let's take a moment and just realize that when this, when the series started, it was literally just Allison and Max the first. And they had to build this like little hut over here just to get by because winter had started. And now look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of us. Nine, nine people just working together to make this the best place ever. And of course, our 10th member, Wallace, uh, who unfortunately did not make it, died in one of the one of the sieges. There we go. Oh, 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 look at this. Violet? Yes. Yes, girl. Good. <laughs> you eat the hay. You leave our red currants alone. Fantastic. Alright. I'm taking a quick look here at the real world time. And I'm realizing that I've been recording for quite a little while here but uh let's you know what we're gonna try something we're gonna speed time along five times speed just let everybody kind of zoom around these are still mainly maintenance tasks look at this we have 200 smoked meat auto saving and there's more oh hello and there's more on the way over here right there so we're not in a position where we have to take a lot of decisions right now. So I think it'd be best to just leave it at five speed. And if something does come up that does require decisions to be taken, uh, then we'll, we'll slow things down again. But for now, I think this is good. Let's take stock of what we actually have here. It looks like we have fermenting fruit juice going. I think that's from the apples. That's good to see. Um, you know what? I just thought of something. Let's click on this. Okay, up to 50. 50 is a good number. You know what? 50 is a good number. Um, do we have a lot of milk? No, that's tallow. Okay. I was going to say, if that's milk, we're going to start uh, curdling milk and making, I guess, cheese. I guess that's what that would be. Uh, fruit juice. And this is mash. What's this? Oh. Okay. Yeah, we're not doing that, but still good to know. Let's see. The smoke houses are starting up again. Fantastic. We have actually gone down in raw meat now. 
and it looks like someone's either picked up the wolf carcass or got eaten by crows. One of those two. Fantastic. Yeah. Let's just take a moment. Notice that we've gained a cow. Hello. Okay. Marrow the cow. Let's follow Marrow around a bit. They will be, like, wanting food soon. I don't think we're going to have enough hay to just wait for the barley to happen. There's certainly a lot of things that we'd still like to do, like I had mentioned we were going to chop off this right here, connect this with this, have a nice large farm area here. We haven't done that yet. We have, of course, more pathing to do here, more traps to set as well, but once again, we're not there yet. Right now, let's just focus on this. Smoking up a storm. With 300 smoked meat. That's quite a bit of smoked meat, actually. Ooh, friendly visit. Merchant caravan. The dealer in luxuries sometimes carries swords from Toledo and Damascus. Melanie's armor, unusual merchant parts, is exotic? Is exotic? Esoteric. Aha. Esoteric ingredients and books bound in buttery parchment. Their exclusive and carefully selective items come at a premium. Okay, well, you know what? Let's follow these merchants around. Here we go. As they make their way to us, we'll have Allison go and chat with uh, Am Amia. I guess that's how that's pronounced, Amia. Amia the merchant. And uh, let's see if we can get some more mechanical components. That might be really good, actually. Some mechanical components. Actually, what did I just see here? Willow trees. Oh. Is that new? I don't remember seeing willow trees before. All right, I got a distraction there. It's fine. They are continuing down their way. We're going to select Allison. And actually, we're going to take a look. How are they going to path through this? They should be passing here. Is that what they're doing? Yes. Fantastic. That is what we like to see. The merchants do not throw themselves at the spikes. Okay. So, Allison, you are going to come here. No. Nope. You are going to wait for the merchant to arrive. And then you're going to barter. And we have loads of stuff to sell. So, I'm not even worried. Here we go. Let's take a quick look. I don't want to stay here too, too long. Uh, yeah, blacksmith's forges, cartography table, that's nice. Chaperon, church of restitutionist, fermenting juice. Um, let's have a little scroll. I'm looking for something in particular and I didn't see it. Uh, mechanical components. Let's just give it another look real quick. Mechanical components, here we go. These are not ours. <laughs> okay, uh, 1,000, let's see. We are going to attempt to sell a shrine. Sell two things of shrines and, oh, that's way too heavy for them. Okay, uh, we can sell one thing of shrine till, no, we cannot. Oh, okay. There is a huge gaping flaw, a flaw in my plan. Uh, let's see. Maybe some meat. Okay, I don't think we're going to be able to get all those mechanical components, unfortunately. Healing kits, uh, what can we sell them? We have hats. Okay, hats to sell. Beet seeds, I said that I was going to keep this fast. I don't feel like I did that. Uh, we have gold. Here we go. And let's... Oh, we're pretty much at the end. I, I was going to say, let's see if we can get a few shrines in, but it doesn't look like it. Stone stool. Get a few st we can get one stone stool. Okay, and now we uh, need to lower what we're asking for. Oh, look at that. Four. Hmm. Okay, four it is. 
but we are going to give them slightly less raw meat. Like that. 540 raw meat. Okay. There we go. And we now have enough mechanical components for four new traps. These are going to be wooden traps, of course. And we are going to place them right here. Give it a space. We'll give it two spaces. One, two. One, two. Here we go. Four new wooden traps. When we have what we need for them, of course. There we go. It looks like we're out of wood. <laughs> uh, after all that chopping. Okay. Um, because of all the smoking, of course. Uh, because of all the smoking. I'm, I'm realizing now why. Uh, let's right, cut, cut this down. Here we go. Yeah, we are zooming through our wood pile. <laughs> oh, no, we're not. What am I saying? Don't do that. No. Oh, no. I clicked the wrong thing. This one. There we go. I don't know what I was talking about. There's a thousand wood there. Okay, I guess it was just red because the mechanical components weren't yet in the, in the storeroom. Maybe that's it. But yeah, the idea here... Oh, order saving. Whoa, 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 whoa. Way too fast. The idea here is that we want to put a little bit of a space here so that first guy gets hit and it slows down. Someone else who's after him might get hit by the next one, etc. So we don't want them all lined up. Mostly is we only have enough components for four of these. Okay. So, whoa. I didn't expect to get so excited at the end there. Let's just... Let's just end this episode right here, looking at the merchants who have graciously given us mechanical components, <laughs> and we're going to call it here. So yeah, we managed to get ourselves almost 400 smoked meat. We sold a bunch of meat. Uh, I don't think that'll be a problem. It may be a problem, we'll have to find out. But the rest should be smoked uh, quite quickly. And uh, we got some mechanical components to be able to make new traps. I'm feeling good about this. This is a good spot to end. So with that, I'll leave it here. And until next time, goodbye.